bit about how you managed to get into accessibility in the user experience design world. Yeah, so I took a user experience course at General Assembly in New York. And during that the time of the course, I remember there was one slide about accessibility. And it kind of piqued my interest, but I didn't think anything of it. And then like a year later, I woke up and I was like, I don't know, I want to make the world a more accessible place. I don't even know what that means. So I'm like Googling accessibility, New York, and I found a meetup. And at the meetup, I I don't even remember exactly what the session was about, but they were talking about making products accessible for people with disabilities. There were people there with all kinds of different disabilities. And, you know, it just had me think, you know, what are we doing? Why aren't we making products for everybody? I, fe I felt up to that point in my career, even in my, my education, I hadn't there hadn't been an emphasis on it. And so it became a passion of mine. I started learning, I started studying. And what really what really moved me to action is that first meetup that I went to it was at the time they called it, I think it was like the accessibility design meetup. They changed the name since, but I ended up speaking with a woman who's my friend to this day. She, she asked me what I did for a living. And I said, oh, I'm a UX designer. You know, I make things usable and she, she's blind. And she asked me a question that stuck with me forever. I mean, I put it in my book. She, she asked me, do, do people like you, designers, think about people like me, people who are blind? And I sat there for a moment thinking, no. And I said, I'm gonna be honest with you, no. But I will make sure that anything that I work on we will yeah. and i that is a promise that i will keep so everything that i work on i do my best to think about what are the options we could provide to make sure this thing is accessible yeah. and sometimes you know sometimes it's possible and sometimes it's not but at least there has to be the thought just everything starts with a thought